Right guys, let's get to it. I'll now go through, as promised, the wafter rig that I've had great success on these last couple of months and go through how to tie it and the components that I use. So to start with, I'll use the Gardener Tackle Tungsten Skin Ultra Sink. This is tungsten loaded so it is a heavy hook link and it just, it's just great. It pins down well and there's no need to steam it either. Um, I've got this in the uh, natural silt, but you can get it in two other colours, uh, weed green and the, uh, the brown. So yeah, that's in the uh, 25 pounds. So start off, you need to reel off about 16 inches of the hook link. And then to create your supple section, you want to peel off about six inches. I just use my teeth, but you can use a super tool if you want. Right, so you six inches of supple section there. Then we tie our hair. So a loop there. So, small loop as well. Just trim off the tag end. So, like to burn that with a lawyer to keep everything neat. Right, there's our loop for our hair. Alright, next is the rig rings. Now these are small, they're size small. Again from Gardner. In the anti-glare as well, so they could get one of them. Right. I fed it thread your hook link through, just an overhand not now this is where you want to, depending on the size of the bait, the size of wafter you're using, um, you've still got to have a good separation from the hook to the bait. We'll talk about that later. But um, I'll use a, I wouldn't say large bait, but I think these are, these are 15 mil. So I'd like to have about roughly 10 mil separation from the bait to the bottom of the hook. So I'm sure you can judge that yourself. So yeah, overhand knot tied on. Uh, right, next. Now the hook pattern I use are the long shanks, size 4, my preferred choice I use J Precisions, obviously everyone has their preferred choice of hooks, but these are the hooks I've always used and I have utmost confidence in, super sharp, hand sharpened, I fed that through the back of the eye. And then the pointer hook through the rig ring, so it's on the back of the shank. Now this bit is important. Your rig ring needs to be opposite your barb on your hook. Fish just topped on the spot as we told him. Yeah, it needs to be opposite your barb. Which will then, once we do our knotless knot, We'll give that movement low back style. Okay, so over the knotless knot, one, two, three, four, five. I've always done five, but I mean, everyone's different. Like so, you 
see how straight that is and that ain't even been steamed. So um, really good hook length material, can't fault it. I've used many in the past and this is the uh, go-to one now. I don't think I'll ever move from using this. So next bit is the Cova XL Kickers from Gardner. Now these are tungsten loaders as well. Absolutely brilliant. Now I I used to use the uh, shrink tubing um, last year. I've done a lot of um, fishing using the needle rig um, that Scotty Lloyd does. Um, this is fairly similar. It just saves steam and tubing, and obviously they're tungsten loaded, so they're um, they've got the weight there as well to keep it pinned down. So we just feed that on. Just to cover, not let's not, like so. And then from the end of that kicker, left of about 10 mil supple section, which is perfect. Enough of the movement on the hinge of that stiff section. Right, next bit. On the end of that, uh, the stiff section, just need a little bit of putty. Same again, everyone has their preferences of putty. I mean, I use the gardener stuff, it's just it's so sticky, stays on, long range casting, um, and it's super heavy, so don't need a lot of it. Blob that on there. Wrap that round the end. Like so. Fussy when it comes to pay. <laughs> like so, and that just gives it a little bit of weight on the end of the hit, stiff section to help that kick out. And you've still got the movement, obviously, of the supple section. There, like that. So, there's your hook link, there's your hook end, that is the business end. Right, next bit. So the length of my hook link on this, I'm fishing a silty, uh, silty lake, so don't want it too short. Um, but roughly eight inches. I'll do the figure of eight loop. Try keep your um, loop. Fairly, um, fairly small on that end. See why in a minute. This bit. Right. Let's put Tag end. Right, next bit. All we'll keep it help help it all pinned down on the bottom. Use the anti tangle sleeves. Also, Gardner, the Covert Tunson range. These are super super heavy. Help everything kick out. Feed that on to your loop. 
bit like so. And there you have it. So, obviously, the small loop is covered by the anti tangle sleeve. Keep that all neat. And as you can see, no steam involved. That just kicks out the supple section on the, on the end as well to give that movement. And that's the rig. I'll now put the bait on just to show you the separation. to um, top mine with another colour that's been doing me well at the minute so what we do is just trim, the, trim it down a little bit I have a Nutribates pink pepper just cut that in half So the separation, as you can see, roughly 10 mil, eight to 10 mil. And that's the separation from Mark. That is the rig that's been doing the business for me. I think I've had um, 930s and a 40 and many upper 20s in the last couple of months on this. Just fairly simple, not the snot rig, blowback system with a tungsten kicker and anti tangle sleeve. And that's what's been doing the do. I'll um, put up the products that I use on this um, clip uh, so you can get them yourself from the title shops. Give it a go.